Hey everyone, today we are going to see how we can enable the test automation framework to execute on different environment. This step should be completely configurable and during runtime, you should be able to define on which environment you want your execution to happen, right? So for this demo, I have created a basic Maven project and we are using testng here as a test framework. Within my testng file, uh, I have defined uh, that class which I want to execute and this is a basic uh, this class contains a basic test method where we are just fetching the title of the web page okay and this is extending a base test so here we are like kind of initializing the driver like we have test and notation here and we are initializing the driver on basis of the browser on which we want to perform the execution again this is coming in form of command line argument only and then here we are giving the URL, right? So let me show you the config.property file, okay? So we need, a, we need to define the environment type and the URL of that particular environment somewhere within the framework. So here, we, I, am, I have defined it in config reader file. Then I have defined a run debug configuration here, okay? Uh, this is a maven run debug configuration. I'm passing env. It is, it is a command line argument and I'm saying that I want my execution to take place on SIT. Similarly, I want to use browser as Chrome. Okay, so essentially this command can come from your execution stage of Jenkins, GitLab or any CICD platform. But the main concept here is that you should be able to pass a like kind of parameter on which you want to perform your execution on which environment you want to perform your execution and then your framework should be able to read that particular parameter and on basis of that execution should take place only on that particular environment. So if I see here like this is my config.property and here I have defined uh, here I have a config reader class which is getting the URL okay and on basis of uh, the parameter which I have provided it is returning that particular URL okay and if i show you here we are back into our base test class okay and this is like simple file manager class uh, which is when which like kind of maintaining all the reader classes there can be there can be a config reader excel reader and everything like that but not going into detail of that so the main concept here is that you are able to get a url on basis of command line argument that you have passed so let me show you here we have passed SIT and we are expecting the SIT to be google.com right so let me execute it and we should be able to see google.com opened Okay, so we have google.com. Okay, so similarly, if I change it to say UAT, now we should have yahoo.com. Okay, so now we have yahoo.com. So that's how you can uh, enable your automation framework to execute on different environments. Okay, that's it for this video. See you in the next videos. Thank you.